<clears throat> Hi, I'm doing this video in response to a, uh, a video I saw by Benjamin Smythe about that it's stupid and wrong to, uh, for, for teachers of quote-unquote uh, or, or within the non-duality community to, to charge for, uh, I guess, books, consultations, satsangs, meetings, <clears throat> retreats, whatever. So, you know, I want to respond to that video because I do charge for consultations uh, and I want to explain why I do it. And I also, I charge for my book. Um, and I have several reasons for this and I think they're good reasons. And I think you're entitled to know my reasons. Reason number one, and it's the most important reason, is I need the money. I, that's not my, mot my motivating factor. I want you to understand that. I'm not motivated by the money, but I charge for the money. It's a very important distinction. I simply have bills to pay, and I make extremely little money. I could not possibly live on the money that I, that I make for consultations or, or book sales. I'd be homeless. Um, so, but I need it because I need to contribute in some way to the well-being of my household. It simply costs money to maintain this house, pay for the, the phone, the food, and the shelter. It simply costs. And I don't nearly pay my fair share. So that's my main reason for charging, for me. <clears throat> the second reason is, and I learned this on the Navajo, work, I worked with Nav on the Navajo Nation over a period of seven years. One of the things I noticed is, uh, it's hard getting around the Navajo Nation. It's, it's huge. It's vast. And there are not many paved roads. And houses are not marked with addresses. Whole towns are very difficult to find. <clears throat> and so one of the things you see Navajos doing is often is asking for directions. And I noticed that <clears throat> every time they asked for directions, when they got the directions, they gave the person a, 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 a dollar or even five dollars. <clears throat> They would always be exchanging monies in their, in their hand, uh, all folded up. And it wasn't easy to see, but it was something I didn't notice regularly. And I once asked a Navajo healer, I go, why do you do this? In, in, in our world, you know, I ask for directions, and people either know or they don't know. And <clears throat> if they know, great. And we go on. And he said, <clears throat> in our way, um, reciprocity is key. So when you, when you give something to me, I give something back to you. And through reciprocity, we maintain the balance and the centeredness of life. So that when someone gives something to me, I should really pay for it. So in fact, um, websites that I really, really like, I have made donations to. Even though I make very little money. I try to give something, you know, $5, $10, even sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Um, but I've tried to support them. And I've, I've used this philosophy of reciprocity. Also, I know that they could also use the money. And when we exchange money, money is energy, we're exchanging, we're keeping energy flowing in the system. Um, my third reason is a lot of research has shown that people really don't value things if they get them for free. And so I don't know if that's true for you or, or anyone, but it might be true. And um, that's why when I offer consultations, I offer them for, for basically whatever you can afford. It's sort of capped at $60. And I go, if you can't afford that, we can do it by a sliding scale. It just has to be something, even $1. Uh, the consultations I do are often uh, nearly two hours in length. I make a movie of them. I give you the movie. And so it's always a resource that you can go back to. Uh, so that's why I charge. Uh, I don't feel guilty about it. Uh, I really wish I made more money. The consultations have been fantastic. Um, uh, nearly most people I've worked with have really, really benefited. Their, 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 um, uh, their, whole, their quality of life has been enhanced through them. Now, Benjamin Smythe says is that you can't teach enlightenment. He's absolutely correct. You can't teach enlightenment. I totally agree. And <clears throat> Benjamin Smythe is a very eloquent speaker. Um, I don't know how he pays his bills, but he does, and he, he seems to live fine. So 
more power to him. That's great. And I, I, I really do wish him well for that. But what I don't, I don't necessarily teach enlightenment. <clears throat> what I do is I, I teach habitual escape or breaking the binds of habitual delusion. It's sort of, you know, I can't really teach you how to, uh, how to grow a, a uh, to get a beautiful garden, but I can help you prepare the soil. And I think that's what I do. Um, none of us makes these breakthroughs. The, the breakthrough, the primary breakthrough being the belief in this me, which is the essential breakthrough of awakening. None of us can do it. None of us can teach it. It's a, something that happens for you uh, in time. And it will happen. Um, but the soil can be made ready for it. So that's what I do. Um, I really admire Benjamin Smith, and I'm, I'm happy he brought this issue up. So that's why I charge. Regarding the book, uh, the book was a ton of work. Um, I've made, again, uh, very little off the book. Uh, many people have said, and I, I know this sounds like bragging, but I'm just telling you what they've told me, that they've liked my book, Liberation from the Lie, more so than The Power of Now. I've heard that from many people. Uh, I've made a little less than Eckhart Tolle has. Uh, alas, I wouldn't mind making more. I'd really like to. But I also offer the book for free. And there's a link to the book on the web, the entire book, everything, for free. You can also buy it for in electronic form for a Kindle or a iPhone uh, a PDF for $4.95. Um, so I do offer that for free. Also, most of my writings... Uh, are for free on my blog. So I give it all away. Uh, I don't think I'm greedy or I don't think it'd be fair. Some people accuse me of that. I, I think they're full of crap. Um, the last topic, why do I do this? I do it because I love it. I love it and I think I'm good at it. And um, I don't always nail it. Uh, I don't always do the best consultation. Uh, I, I've missed on a couple. But I love doing it. And most people who have done it with me have really appreciated it. So that's why I do it. I wish I could do it all for free. But on the other hand, I really, I have a kind of love and affection for the Navajo belief of reciprocity. I think you'll find it among all Native Americans, certainly of North America, that if we lived our lives always giving back, because we're always taking, we're always taking, if you're honest with it, you're taking food, you're taking resources, you're taking energy, all that, all from me. <clears throat> and others take from us. There is, there is a kind of flow going on. But in terms of money, we hold on to money pretty tightly. <clears throat> and, and money is the real energy flow of this civil, civilized life we live. And <clears throat> we, the, 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 the philosophy of reciprocity, we wouldn't have environmental hardship in the world if we gave back to the earth what we take from it. That's the power of reciprocity. So I hope you understand through this video, and I appreciate your watching. Thank you.